Welcome to our online devotion and prayer. It is good to be here together with you, and I am so happy that Christmas is fast approaching. And you know what? We are going to have a great celebration because it's the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. And you know what? People think that uh, December 25 is not really the Christmas day or, or the birth of Jesus Christ. But let's see what we're going to get into this uh, devotion today. Hallelujah. Please type where you're watching from. And I think it's very, very nice that we will know where you're from. And um, let's also uh, do our acts of faith. Please uh, share this broadcast and also uh, tag your friends, family, and loved ones. And um, click the heart button and uh, follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our online uh, YouTube channel, CIF TV, and uh, Missy. Uh, we don't have uh, faith stars in here, but we have receptacles for your love gifts, your offerings, and that will help us let this broadcast go around the world. Hallelujah. Before we proceed, let's have a word of prayer. Father God, we really appreciate that you are our great God, the author of our life and the author of our faith we thank you that today we can gather together and have this word oh god and let your word be alive in our hearts a living manna fresh oh god to rejuvenate us to to encourage us to to live in us up oh god in the name of jesus we thank you lord for the anointing the fresh anointing oh god in jesus name to everyone who is watching today and may you continue to help uh, every one of us to, to learn more about you and to, to let you know that we love you. But then your word says herein is love, not that we love God, but that a God loves us and sent his son to be the propitiation of our sins. So thank you, Father, that by the power of your Holy Spirit, everything, Lord, will be uh, coming into the right place for our lives in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our topic today, since it's Christmas uh, edition of our online devotion and prayer, our topic today is the mystery of Christmas. Hallelujah. So, what is this mystery? What is mystery? Mystery is a word from the Greek uh, lexicon and from the original text it's mysterion and it means mystery secret something profound inexplicable a religious truth that can that one can only know by revelation so today we will read the word of god and uh, let's read from Luke chapter 1, verse 30 to 38. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Israel, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. Verse 37, For with God nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold, the maid servant of the Lord, let it be to me, according to your word. And the angel departed from her. 
Now, let me read also Luke chapter 2, verse 10. There were shepherds in the field watching their flocks by night. And you know, the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. The title of our devotion today is Experiencing the Mystery of Christmas. As, as I've said, mystery is something profound, something a secret. How deep and profound is this mystery of Christmas? You know, this mystery has been in the mind of God from generations to generations, from ages past. That's how ancient, deep, and profound this mystery is. In Mark chapter 4, verse 11, 8, it says here, And he said to them, To you it has been given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. So what is this mystery? In Colossians chapter 1, verse 26, it says, The mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generations, but now has been revealed to his saints, to them God willed to make known what are the riches of his glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. So we can get from here that the mystery that's been hidden from ages and from generations past is Christ in you, the hope of glory. So Jesus was sent into this world and he was actually hidden in the mind of God. His coming was actually a fulfillment of a prophetic word spoken in the Garden of Eden at the fall of Adam and Eve. Christmas is the coming of Christ into the world. The way he came is a mystery. The revelation of Jesus Christ himself is the essence of that mystery. And in the Bible, in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, it says, And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. God spoke this to the devil, to Satan. Because of what he had done, the demise of Adam and Eve. And you know what? God made this plan because he cannot let us go uh, in um, peril. He cannot let us go uh, into eternity without the, the blessings of salvation. He can't let us go into the lake of fire. He wants to redeem, exaggerate us, buy us back from the slave of sin, from, from this slavery of sin. And so God resorted to this plan of redemption. So for ages and from generations to generations, God kept this secret in his mind, a mystery that took thousands of years since creation to be released as a revelation upon the face of the earth. And you know what? I am so glad that God made this plan of salvation for us. Hallelujah. Let's give that glory. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. I am so glad that our God loves us very much and he cannot let us go into perdition without the benefit of salvation. In Galatians chapter 4, verse 4, uh, before I read that, I want to say this. The hidden secret of God, which is the mystery of Christmas. The hidden secret of God, the mystery of Christmas, started unfolding in the fullness of time. God he says, has his own timing, his kairos moment, his appointed time, his appropriate time. In the fullness of time. Galatians chapter 4 verse 4 says, But when the fullness of the time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive the adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent forth his spirit of his son into your hearts, 
crying out, Abba, Father. Therefore you are no longer a slave but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. We enjoy a lot of blessings because of Christ, because of His coming. He is the mystery that's been hidden in ages past, but now revealed to us the church, Christ in you, the hope of glory. So this Christmas, remember, friends, remember, beloved, that Jesus Christ had come into our hearts. Oh, come to my heart, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. There is room in my heart for thee. Is Christmas a reminder to us that Jesus Christ has come into our hearts, that we've been born again? The mystery that's been hidden in time past is now living inside of us. Wow, what a victory. What a blessing. It's so marvelous to know that. And some people say Christmas is man's invention. Is Christmas man's invention? Well, you know, a lot of people really say that. And uh, they say Jesus wasn't even born on December 25. It may be. But you know what? Even if that happens, the Bible is true. The Bible remains a truth. The Bible remains a fact that Jesus Christ came into our hearts. Jesus Christ came into our lives. Jesus Christ came into our world. And, and, and you know, even if this occasion has been linked to a pagan holiday, and, and not, not a really a, a Christian celebration, it's just been woven into the Christmas celebration, some believe this is to make connection and identification with their pagan practices only to see its resemblance in Christianity. Because the Christians in those days, they, they came from pagan practices and, and so they kind of link it together to give them a little uh, uh, easy transition into the works of Christianity. But the tradition has been embedded in our culture to celebrate Christmas, the birth of Christ in December 25. Although Rabbi Jonathan Kahn said that Jesus was actually born in the spring of March 20. The shepherds were in the field watching their flock. It's actually the birthing time of the lambs. So the shepherds were there to watch. They have to watch the, the lambs being born. Because it's very delicate. They have to do that. And it was cold. And so they had uh, fire. Uh, they were, they're trying to warm themselves. And the angels appeared to them. Fear not, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which is to all people. And that's why we have Christmas. And you know, in the making of this mystery, the making of this Christmas, there was an, the involvement of Mary. Mary, a Jewish princess. She was a princess. She came from the lineage of Nathan, a royal line. They didn't know that she was a princess, and when God needed a vessel, he chose Mary, a woman of trust, courage, and obedience. And there was Joseph. When God needed a man to partner with Mary, he chose Joseph, not the son of Jacob, who didn't think he was a prince either. And he was from the lineage of kings, the tribe of Judah. Joseph has to be in there as the husband of Mary. He was a descendant of King Jeconiah who fell from grace due to sin. Jeconiah became a king and uh, he fell from grace. He fell into sin and he was cursed. So in other words, when Jesus' lineage was supposed to be a royal line, and there has a mixture of someone that has been cursed, then the lineage was interrupted. But you know what? The curse was of a short duration. It's been told that in Sanhedrin 37b, a, a Jewish writing, that uh, Rabbi Yohanan indicated that King Jehoiakim repented. Jehoiakim is another name for Jeconiah. And when Jeconiah fell into sin, he was cursed. His name became Coniah. The J was removed. Because you know, J is in Hebrew is Ye, Yehovah. It's, uh, it's the first 
uh, uh, syllable of God's name. And it was removed from his name because he was uh, cursed. But it's been said that Jehoiakim, Kunaya, or Kunaya uh, um, was uh, re uh, redeemed from that curse. Jehoiakim became king at age 18 years old, and he only reigned for three months. And he was the last king when the exile started. He was redeemed. The mystery of Christmas declares that there is a reinstatement of status, a forgiveness of sins. That's why this Christmas is a grand celebration for mankind, a grand celebration for us because our status has been reinstated. It's a reinstatement of status. And number two, it's the reversal of a curse. We are no longer cursed. And number three, it's the restoration of life and position. Have you received this mystery of Christmas in your heart? For with God, nothing is impossible. With God, everything will be all right. Hallelujah. In Jesus, there is the restoration of position, the restoration of possession, and the restoration of prosperity. Hallelujah. I praise God for everything that He has done for us. Aren't you glad? Please type, I'm glad Jesus Christ came. Amen? All right. And also, aren't you glad that the mystery is now inside of you mystery meaning profound profound truth profound blessing christ in you the hope of glory this time i'm glad i received this profound truth this uh, blessing in the name of jesus hallelujah thank you lord hallelujah 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 Christmas is also a revelation of the Father into our lives because through Jesus Christ we came to know the Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And also uh, our conception of God the Father is also corrected by the coming of Jesus because before it's been known that the Father, oh, he was so stern, he was so rough. When people sin, he just throws fire at them and kills them. Open the, the earth and swallows. Let the earth, the people be swallowed. But with the coming of Christ, grace came into our world. Grace came into our lives. Grace came into your homes. Hallelujah. 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 Let's raise our hands to the Lord. And just worship God and thank God for the blessing that he has given to us Christ in us the hope of the Father thank you thank you Lord that our sins have been forgiven thank you Lord that we have been restored oh God we have been reinstated oh God there has been a reversal of the curse oh God oh Lord that we are restored forever and ever in Jesus name thank you Lord may each one Lord who has not received, who has not received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior Lord will consider receiving Jesus the mystery of Christmas, Jesus, the profound truth. Oh, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. But now, oh God, Lord, it's been revealed, oh God, that Jesus Christ came, oh God, to redeem us from our sins. So, Father, let everyone, Lord, have the tender heart, Lord, today to receive you. And if anyone, Lord, today needs a healing, oh God, Lord, Oh, Lord, spiritual healing from sin, oh God, whatever, oh God, the need is, physical healing, oh God, let it be, oh God, ministered to by the Lord Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, now in the name of Jesus. Let this Christmas be a joyous Christmas for everyone. Let every family, oh God, Lord, receive the gladness that you have sent, oh God. Behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy which shall be to all people father we thank you god for the opportunity to be blessed we thank you lord for the opportunity lord 
oh God, to live the life, oh God, free from sin. And if we sin, Lord, oh God, you also have has a, a, a provision for us. If we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Thank you, Lord. And if we walk in the light as uh, uh, Jesus Christ is in the light, if we walk in the light as we are in the light, the 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 blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sins. Thank you, Lord. Everyone will have the opportunity, Lord, to be uh, born again. Everyone will have the opportunity, Lord, to escape hell. Oh, Lord, everyone will have the opportunity, Lord, oh God, Lord, to, to, to have strength, oh God, during trials, to have um, uh, a solution for, for situations and problems, oh God. In the name of Jesus, the world may be aching, O oh God, and be groaning in pain, O oh God, because of what's going on in the world today. But Lord God Almighty, oh yes, uh, the God of Isaac, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jehovah of Israel, oh, we thank you, God, that you will make it all right for us as your people. We bless you, O oh God. In Jesus' name, heal the sick, O oh God. What Jesus Christ came for, O oh God, upon the face of the earth, Lord, as He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let it be true. Let it come in our days, O oh God. Now, O oh God, in Jesus' name, healing the sick, O oh God, raising the dead, O oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Casting out demons, O oh God. Christmas is a grand day for us because everyone has the opportunity to be blessed. Everyone has the opportunity, Lord, oh God, to be saved. Everyone has the opportunity, Lord, to be delivered from the life of sin and from the, the demolition of the enemy in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we can be alive in you and dead to sin in the name of Jesus. Father God, bless each family. Let the presence of Christ in the home in the name of Jesus, be true, be alive in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Rabna Hashik Hallelujah. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore him christ the lord for he alone is worthy for he alone is worthy for he alone is worthy This Christmas celebrate Jesus the reason for the season thank you for being with us today and um, keep watching this uh, broadcast it's a daily devotion and uh, we will grow together we will uh, be close together in the Lord hallelujah be empowered this Christmas be blessed this Christmas. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>